I wanted to expand my knowledge and skills of art and pick up painting. Painting is something that, well, as a Waldorf student, you, know, you always kind of do, but it's always more watercolor. And I had played a little bit around with acrylic paint, which was what I was originally going to do. I wanted to make a large mural with acrylic paint, but my idea slowly ch uh, changed into a canvas. Uh, a big passion of mine is rowing, as a lot of people probably know. <laughs> um, for the past year and a half, about, I have been going to practice every single day, and for weeks, and for hours, every week, I've been rowing. Um, and I somehow wanted to pay tribute to my rowing in my senior project. Once I knew that I wanted to paint, the first question I asked myself, of course, was, well, what am I going to paint? Since I wanted to create one large painting like this, rather than a few small ones, I wanted it to be something that was really important to me. I chose to recreate an image from one of my first races, so yes, I am in my own painting. <laughs> um, this race was a huge turning point for me. I had only been rowing for a few weeks when my coach approached me and asked me, or told me, that she wanted me to be in this boat that would race at this international regatta that was very competitive. Um, I was very honored and excited, and of course I was nervous because I felt like I really didn't even know what I was doing yet. And she was already saying, go, you can do it, I know you can, um, which made me feel very inspired. Um, the training leading into this race was something that I had never experienced before, both physically and mentally. It was one of the hardest things I have ever done. But it has definitely helped pave the way for me, both mentally and physically. I, there's pictures of me from when I first started rowing and then after this race, and it's incredible to see how my body changed, muscly, <laughs> and how mentally how I carried myself. I met with my mentor for the first time over the summer. Uh, as I said before, I originally wanted to use acrylic paint, but she had <coughs> gone back into oil painting, and she wanted us to kind of take that adventure together and wanted me to do something, use a medium that I had never used before. When I first met with her, I brought with me the photograph that this is based off of, and we kind of altered it and simplified it a little bit, just to make the format look good, and so it would be a good, a nice format for a good painting. Yeah. Next, my mentor and I discussed materials and colors and paint, and I learned different things about different brushes and how to use them, and what colors I should buy and what colors I should always mix myself. I took an adventure to the art supply store where I picked out all my materials and this was kind of the first time that I'd ever picked out materials for a big project like this. I always kind of went around my house and got the materials that I had laying around, just like whatever. This is the, I began drafting my uh, canvas once I had all the materials and this part was very tedious for me because all I wanted to do was paint. My senior project was painting, and I didn't want to be graphing. <laughs> um, but it was definitely a very important part. Um, there was a few times where I messed up, and things got off, or my hand, I looked down, and my arm was covered in pencil, and it was smudged all over. But I finally got the hang of it, and I finished my graph. Um, and then once I finished my graph, I could start mixing my colors, making a color palette for my painting. I wanted to make a distinction between the foreground and the background of my painting. Um, so we did that through color, and then we also decided that so I could practice different techniques. The rowers would be more detailed, and then the background would be more of a gesture painting. Since I wanted to, the rowers to be the focal point, I actually started with the rowers. Um, this felt like the longest process for me. It felt like I would sit and I would paint for hours and hours and I would step back and it looked like I had done nothing. There were just little people floating in the middle of an empty canvas. I was excited to take a realistic approach because realism is something that I've always wanted to be good at but I was a little afraid of it because I felt like it would never look how I wanted it to look. Um, but I was very excited and I'm very happy with how it turned out after weeks and months. As I expanded out and worked on the landscape and the water, finally everything felt like it was coming together and the rowers were more grounded. Um, and they were surrounded by something and it actually began to look like a painting and it came together. My goal with the landscape was instead of painting 
every leaf as detailed as I possibly could. I wanted it to be more of a gesture and a symbol to show. So from far away you can tell, okay, that's a tree, those are some people, but from up close you can kind of tell that it's <coughs> a shape or a gesture for the face or the each leaf or the branch. My mentor has a quote in her studio that says, the ability to simplify means to eliminate the unnecessary so that the necessary may speak. And that was my goal with the gesture painting in the landscape. Since I was working on this painting for so long, there were so many times when I wanted to start over and just totally paint something different. Because um, I got tired of looking at it and wasn't happy with it. And I really just had to step back, maybe take a few days off, and look and see that this was just a learning experiment and it's, it's just an experience for me. I faced one of my biggest struggles when I began painting the water. I never painted water before, and like realism, it was something that I just totally avoided because it scared me. Um, as much as my mentor told me and showed me how to do the water, it just didn't come to life, and it looked so stiff and awkward, and I just was really unhappy with how it looked. But again, when I got frustrated, I just had to back away and say, you know what, sometimes it's not going to happen the way you want to, and you have to step back and realize that, and see how can I fix it, and how can I change it. And once I stopped thinking that I needed to paint water and just kind of went with the, the flow of it, <laughs> um, it really began to come together. There was a few times I was super frustrated because something didn't look the way I wanted it to. And I continued to paint and tried to fidget with it, and it ended up just making it worse. So then I learned that I really should just back away when I get frustrated. And the weeks after, I finished my up the landscape and the water, and my painting was finally completed. And here it is. <laughs> my goal of doing this painting as my senior project was not only to learn more about painting, but to create a balance in my life. If you know me, you know that I'm always going to practice. Every time one of my friends asks me to hang out, nine out of ten times the answer is going to be, sorry, I have to go to practice. So I wanted to create this balance for myself, of the outward of being on a team um, and working in a sport, and the inward of being with myself and painting. The whole process was a learning experience for me, a learning experience of time management, because you really can't rush oil painting. You need to dry, you need to be able to layer it. It's a very long process. I experienced some frustration and stress, but all I really needed to do was to have more patience and to sometimes walk away when I got frustrated. I look forward to painting in the future and using the skills I have learned. There's so many more things I can't wait to paint. Thank you. Oh no. Um, 
I started, I started, I got, got all the materials and gathered everything in August and then started using late September, but I did take some breaks in between, but I'm not really sure how many hours. Yeah. What's your favorite medium to work with? Um, I feel like I used to say oil. I really liked it. I'm still learning a lot about it, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I think it was the rowers and the people. It's definitely the part I'm the most proud of. I had the most fun doing it. Yes. How many shades of blue did you use for the water? Oh. Can you repeat the question? How many shades of blue did I use for the water? So I had a dark shade, a very light shade, and then I had about three, four shades in between. Yeah. Do you have more paintings? Finish that unfinished? No, this is the only one that I did this year, but I have taken a lot of inspiration from other things and gathering things that I want to paint this year. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm going to return on. Do you know what your next painting is going to be? I'm not sure. I was thinking very kind of cheesy, but I took a picture of a sunset <laughs> <laughs> the other day. And I was thinking maybe trying that. Yeah. What part is the long? The longest. Um, probably because I kept giving up the water, but the hours that I actually worked on, I would say the people in the boat. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which part of the painting was the most difficult? The most difficult? Um, probably again the people. <laughs> it took the longest time for me, and I wanted it to be as realistic as possible. Thank you.